and the Owls coming off a win over USF. Obviously, a different quarterfinal games yesterday. What do you think the strategy is going to be for UConn in this game with tired legs? Temple has a little more rest. Yeah, Temple did a great job in a balanced attack with a win over the USF Bulls. UConn played in the game of the year in college basketball. The entire country was watching that four overtime thriller. They're going to be tired. They're going to be sore. Not a lot of sleep, but that's no excuse. It's why it's March Madness. And UConn always seems to have a little bit of that madness uh, come March. What do you think you're going to see from UConn early on in this game? What advantages do they have over Temple? Well, UConn has a size advantage, so they need to go inside. When you play four overtimes, I played in a three overtime game and I was so tired the next day. I don't know how UConn's going to do it, but they don't have an excuse. You got to have grit, you got to have toughness and get through it. Tired legs mean tired shots. So if you're missing shots early, you need to go inside into the post to get easy buckets and have your defense create offense for you because if the jump shots aren't falling, you have to find other ways to score. And you called Quentin DeCozy the quiet assassin yesterday. Why is he going to be key in this game to get Temple to the final? Well, he is the guy for Temple. You know, they play a, a very small amount of guys. They play about seven guys, but DeCozy is the man when it comes to scoring late in the game. I expect this game, just like everybody else does, to be close. And in late game situations, DeCozy has to step up and make shots. He's very capable because he can get to the rim, the free throw line, and he can knock down the three. He has to be the guy for Temple to get them into the finals. Rodney Purvis played a lot of minutes yesterday, but Daniel Hamilton, Jalen Adams got a lot of the attention. Why is he so important for UConn today? Well, Adams and Hamil Hamilton were unbelievable, not just in the, in the earlier in the game, but in all of the overtimes. They made big shot after big shot. You know that Temple's going to key in on those two guys. So Rodney Purvis needs to be the emotional leader and the calming force for UConn. He's strong, he's aggressive, he can guard one through three positions, guard the point guard, and you may even see him on Dekozy as well, but he has to step up and make shots. He didn't do that last game. He needs to uh, make shots versus a very good Temple team. Winner of this one will go on to play Memphis or Tulane. A lot at stake here as an NCAA tournament bid is on the line and a spot in tomorrow's final. For Mike O'Donnell, I'm Haley Outen.